there is and has been something going on on Twitter. Yes. Um, I don't know how much t- how much Lots time do you usually stuff. spend, right? I spend a decent amount of my social media time on Twitter. I'm trying to get more on Twitter or less away, less on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram is a soul sucking place that is just filled with yeah. Most I, people, though, part that's of where we're running our shit, and so I do that, and then I look at other shit, yeah. and I look at my own shit, and I'm like, "Fuck, I've been on here for 20 minutes." Yeah, it's a, yeah it's, it'd be grabbing it's you. Thing. That's why I don't want to be on it very much. Yeah, and Twitter is it's much more easy. To, like, just dip your toes in for a couple minutes and bounce back out. But uh, there has been some strange goings on here, and I'm going to pull up a tweet here from Luke Rudowski, okay, who is not my favorite human being on the planet, right. at least when he's on the you Jim Cash show. Both. But you know, but he's just he's just annoying. I just find him annoying. He that's is a that's bit annoying. what it is. So He's I got nothing against him, though. But this was something that he decided to tweet out that today, and this was on, oh, I think it was like the day before, or no, it was, the, it was like a day or two after the announcement had been made that Elon was going to be buying Twitter. Like they had closed the deal, they'd signed the deal, and now it was the real process had begun. And all Game of a sudden, time. he gained 39.3 million tweet. Um, impressions, right? Everybody that had been previously like, I'm being shadow banned, I'm being shadow banned, blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, their numbers skyrocketed through the roof. Right. And not just with impressions, but also on subscriber count. Right. right? And it did not make sense because it was, it wasn't the same day. It wasn't right as the news was breaking. So most people find it was, it was a day or two after the announcement had been made. So I don't know how that would happen. Like, Twitter news happens at the blink of an eye, and we've seen it happen time and time again. When there are breaking stories, it's around within an hour. I mean, it is out there. It doesn't take two days to hit and give everybody a bunch of followers. But within the past 24 to 48 hours, and this was back on April 26th, and I believe the deal was done on the 24th, um, Tucker Carlson gained 62,000, more than 62,000 subscribers. Joe Rogan, more than 63,000. Donald Trump Jr., more than 87,000. Ted Cruz, over 51,000 new subscribers. And there bears some left accounts there, losing. Yes. Losing and, subscribers. And you know, here we go. Yeah, Rachel Maddow, down 18.6 thousand. Anderson Cooper, down 10.3. AOC, down 27.6 thousand. Kamala Harris down 22.4. Hillary Clinton down 17.6. Well, that could just be because they keep getting suicided. I mean, um, uh, Tulsi Gabbard up 10.5. Rand Paul 33.5. Ilhan Omar down 10,000. So, obviously, there's some fuckery going on. But what is it? And it's we all we are, we're left with speculation at this point. Because it has seemed to, over the last couple days, kind of balance back out again. I, I noticed personally on my own feed, I didn't recognize it for a few days. There were people like uh, there, Josie, the redheaded libertarian is somebody that I used to follow, right? Okay. <laughs> she was yeah, a, yeah. yeah, she was somebody that uh, showed up on Tim Cast as a guest. And, okay. I, you know, I liked the fire that she threw on Twitter. So I followed her and, and then all of a sudden she was suspended and, but now she's back and it, it hasn't seen so many previously banned people return to the platform. But there's a lot of people that were permanently suspended that I have seen now all of a sudden have their accounts back again. And I don't I don't understand that either, unless there is some fuckery going on over at Twitter. And I don't quite understand it. Um, and I know, so I don't say I know because it's all anecdotal. Mm-hmm. It's all it's all about a goat, right? Um, no. Anecdotal, anecdotal. It's um just uh, I was like, my what? brain's working overtime now. The alpha brain is is cranking. Um, no. Um, but there's been fuckery with people's tweets for a long time. The stats mm. are like a pendulum swinging back and forth. Yeah, there's been yeah, fuckery it's weird. with people's followers specifically for a long time. Mm. I know that I've heard many people on both sides of the political spectrum talk about their Twitter followers just the number of them stopping. Yeah, like them seeing that they're the notification for this person followed you, this person followed you, this person followed you, but then stopping at like 29K or whatever. It just stops. Yeah. You see that you're getting new followers every single day, but the number does not go up. Yep. So I've seen that there is, and a number of different versions of that. There is speculation that whatever fuckery was happening with 
the algorithm beforehand mm-hmm. is being done away with so that when Elon and his team and whatever happens does come in, there isn't evidence that they ready evidence of of the fuckery. Yeah. Um, especially if we're talking about six to nine months before he actually has control of the company. They're doing it now. I would it would make I sense. I would speculate. They're doing it now to have a nine month track record of like, no, 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 we're we're clean and yeah. we only save our shit for six months. So I don't know. I don't know. You know? <laughs> what happened before that? I don't know. You know, who's keeping all the data? Yeah, it's weird. It's the security cameras were not. I don't know what happened. People were asleep. So I don't know what it makes sense <laughs> to me that that they would do that. Yeah, uh, there is no direct evidence of that. Right now, the algorithm to, to Twitter is closed code, so no one has access to it. That's another thing that Elon Musk has said he wants to Free do. Free the code! Make it open access to the code of Twitter, to the algorithm, so people can use it their own and also see exactly how things are being done and, yep. and all that stuff. So, The shitty thing is, is that I've seen code before, and I don't know heads and tails, man. i got to take it. i got to take expert Shady advices. Shady code all the time. Oh, yeah? All the time. That's why I got my boy Paul. He's a code writer. Yeah, Shane made the whole Benick website. Oh, hot dog! Good for him. Yeah, that's WordPress? like a whole. No, <laughs> that's like a whole part of Shane's job is his website stuff. Oh shit! Making the buttons round instead of square and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Silly things like that. Which sound like I I couldn't do that. Shoot, no, man! I wish I had that skill set. There's so many skills I wish I had. That's one of them. I didn't know what he was actually doing for a long time, and yeah. it wasn't until Jordan learned to code some stuff. For her other job at the shipyard or at the oh yeah, at yeah. the boatyard, um, that I Hashtag realized what code. he was actually doing. I was like, oh my god, you're like working at the website. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, I don't know. So one of the other uh, kind of points of fuckery that I've seen lately on Twitter, and I don't, I don't get people that are doing it, man. It's like these people that are freshly off of suspension, or even just people now that are like, oh yeah, Elon Musk is buying Twitter. I'm going to say all this stuff about Ivermectin now. I'm going to I'm going to dead name people. I'm going to do this, that and the other thing that like are in Twitter's terms of service now and nothing has changed except for maybe the algorithm or something like that. And there's people on there just being stupid, just trying to play with fire, man. Right. Because the rules still stand as they did before. Like nothing no, at this point nothing, nothing, nothing has is any different. Yeah. There it seems like like, I've not seen those people then get immediately suspended. No. You know? So... Something appears to be going on. And that's... And when it comes to a motivation for something, why would they be doing this, right? What what are the possible implications of... How about lying to Congress about them not doing these types of shadow bannings and algorithmic fuckery? That would be, I think, one potentially motivating factor into uh, oh shit this is all about to go public set it all back to factory reset like we don't want yeah we don't otherwise i'm an, i'm in contempt of congress i got i can get uh, perjury charges so on and so forth every one of these people has been in front of congress doing sworn testimony yeah, yeah, including yeah, the head of times. yeah i mean uh what's his name or her name uh vijaya Gotti. Um, oh geez Vig- yeah from from the joe rogan experience episode with tim pool which i had the clip of i was going to pull up but the sound's not working and there's no subtitles and but she was on there with him and jack and joe and tim and then you know she's been in front of congress multiple times talking about how twitter doesn't do these things and how they don't censor certain political viewpoints and it it appears as if if that was the the mindset that you viewed the current situation on Twitter with, you could easily make that jump go, okay, it's logical that they have, they have something to hide now. Otherwise they would potentially perjure themselves. So we got to clean it up now. That's a potential motivation that doesn't take too much assumption. Especially because in that episode of Joe Rogan that she was on, Tim Pool laid out a pretty, in my opinion, clear case that even that their bias was implicit not only in some of their regulations, but in the way that they were being enforced. So yeah. the bias isn't even necessarily something you could pin down in the algorithm of it because it's being done on a human level. That the things that people are people mm-hmm. are looking at yeah. are being affected in a biased manner. Uh, Twitter became the OK Corral when it was tamped down. Speculation where it goes is questionable. Um so let's talk about that, right? Mm-hmm. What happens from Twitter from here? Uh, because 
Elon Musk has talked about trying to free it up, essentially, you know, yeah. um, take away um, a lot of the regulations or nonsense that led to, like, the Babylon Bee being suspended or the New York Post being suspended when they were posting the Hunter Biden article. The Babylon Bee got suspended for, if anyone doesn't know what the Babylon Bee is, it's like the Onion, but better, right? Yeah. It's like the newer, better version of the Onion. Yeah. And they got suspended for posting a meme, a fake satirical meme about um what's her name the head of what's what's her name the woman uh the doctor the doctor yeah which who doctor? works for the federal government uh, the trans doctor works for the federal government uh oh wait 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 wait. all wait. i can think is rachel dolezal and that's the no, that's rachel the, levine that's the rachel levine there yes. it is so posting a rachel levine calling her their man of the year yes they're suspended for this right yeah i still think the i still don't think babylon b has their twitter account back i think they're still suspended we have the technology so um things like this again the new york post article during the 2020 election cycle about hunter biden's laptop that now is perfectly acceptable are they back uh let's see march 20th last tweet so it appears that they I don't know when that was well before March 20th, right? So they must not be able to tweet anymore. They must not be able to because, yeah, all March 20th well, to the is very when it top. stopped. What did it say about fake news? You can trust. Oh, subscribe. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing. Okay. Interesting. So they're not, I wonder if they're just done with Twitter then. That yeah, might be, or either that or like their account would be suspended and they can't do anything with it, but oh, it still right. exists. Okay. Cause it yeah. still exists. It's just suspended. Not okay. Yeah. They can't sense. tweet. So I think they, they are still things. suspended from Twitter yeah. is, is how it would appear to me. That's yeah. Actually, because I have been suspended from Twitter before for erroneous reasons. And I believe that's the way it worked. Like I could still get on and get tweets. I could look at things. I, I just couldn't comment. I couldn't reply. I couldn't like, I couldn't retweet and I couldn't post anything. Right. And that was because I don't even remember why my account was. Oh, I think it was because I was like following too many people one night and they were like, hey, we flagged your account because of suspicious activity. I'm like, no, I just spent some time trying to follow Blow some me. motherfuckers. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing, right? And he's been very open that he sees this mm -hmm. as a biased platform. And so he intends to take it back to a more free speech realm, right? Yeah. The reactions to that were ferocious. I mean, oh, I saw. Yeah everything gonna kill from trans people kill trans people to he wants nazis to be able to conform or you know form up on this platform i, I don't know when over the last two weeks we found out that elon musk was a nazi <laughs> but like i don't know how do you even make that jump yeah to he wants nazis to be able to group up on this platform and kill trans people how do you how can you even you can't honestly make that claim because mm -hmm. there's no evidence of that no. and the you know some of the other arguments here were like uh, free speech absolutism you know it's it, this is a very dangerous thing for this to be a free speech absolutist platform like it's not good for anybody which makes me question your morals that makes me question yeah. if you're making that argument that makes me question your morals that makes me question your intentions mm -hmm. in what world would people having the ability and the right to say anything they want be a bad thing where where did the free dissemination of information become a bad thing Put the streets coming at you.